when a red-thighed wandering spider and a black-tailed scorpion shoot it out. One of them is bound. Two sharp claws near its mouth pull prey apart and fork it in. Despite poor eyesight, the blacktail is an excellent hunter. Using sensory organs called pectines to home in on its next kill. These are movable, and they sweep them across whatever surface they're walking on to navigate, find a mate, and of course, locate and track prey. When it locates its target, the scorpion is deadly accurate. The telson or stinger is like an armor-piercing bullet, and the gun that delivers The wandering spider has excellent eyesight. It's also a tactile hunter. Fine sensory hairs detect the faintest vibrations from its soon-to-be victims. These hairs are known as trichobothria, very sensitive. The red-thighed wandering spider attacks with massive fangs and killer venom. The black-tailed scorpion strikes with its lethal stinger and vicious pincers. Who will land the lethal blow? Grab the prey with a pincher, hold it out at a distance so it can't strike back, and then deliver the venom at a point-blank range. That's a textbook hit. When a colony of army ants goes to war against a rainforest crab, its massed might, every army ant is equipped for war with weapons front and rear. A needle-sharp sting stabs repeatedly injecting paralyzing toxins. Sharp serrated mandibles cut and crush. Individually, they are formidable fighters. Working together, they're more than a match for much larger prey. The crab's body and spiked legs are covered by a suit of armor made from chitin fibers. As flexible as human-made plastic, but reinforced with rock-hard mineral crystals. This is a tough little creature. He's got eight walking legs, his sharp, hardened tips, a heavily armored body that's really difficult to penetrate. But what happens when the tank on legs clashes with a rampaging infantry regiment? The army ants attack with savage mandibles and stings full of paralyzing toxin. The rainforest crab relies on heavy-duty armor and massive claws. Who will emerge victorious? Army. When a moss mantis clashes with a tiger beetle, two worlds collide. With super-sensitive eyes, mottled and horned, to blend into the background. These two large compound eyes give the mantis ex... Raptorial legs open like switchblades, revealing large spikes that hook the prey and drag it to the waiting mouth. Mandibles, sharp enough to slice through the toughest bug armor like a can opener, make short work is matched only by its savagery. Enormous serrated mandibles tear the victim to pieces. Tiger beetles have these massive jaws. They're equivalent to 10% of the body length of the animal. They're these huge sickle-like shears. It's equivalent to humans having eight-inch teeth. What happens when the fast and the furious runs into the ghost who stalks. If the mantis doesn't get in a good first shot... The moss mantis attacks with lethal limbs and savage mouth parts. The tiger beetle combines speed with crushing, slicing mandibles. 
Who will inflict the mortal blow? It could break the mantid in half. When a horned Katie did, and an owl butterfly caterpillar lock horns, there's no happily ever after. But the real danger are these mandibles, sharp enough to skewer heavily armored opponents. Then spiked legs, vicious enough to rip through a predatory bat's wings. It's a foe that's as lethal as it is mean. They're serious predators that attack animals and eat them alive. It will attack with bolt cutter mouth parts and thorny limbs. The owl butterfly caterpillar will retaliate with its spiked horns and bristling tail. Who will inflict the mortal blow? When an ogre-faced spider and an army ant soldier face off, it's brains versus brawn. They build a web that they literally throw over their prey. This web is almost like a gladiator. Two of its eight eyes are like night vision goggles, giving this nocturnal hunter better night vision than even owls or cats. Curved like fish hooks with razor sharp points, they spear and crush. At the other end, a needle-like steam delivers paralyzing venom in repeated stabs. The army ant sting is very potent, but it isn't used all the time. Often just the mandibles are enough for the bullying business. But if an opponent fights back... The spider attacks with its gladiatorial net and toxic venom. The army ant fights with its terrifying mandibles and paralyzing steam. Who will emerge the victor? It's one bite through the silk. When a flame-bellied orb weaver and a longicorn beetle bring out the blades, there will be blood. Body and wings are protected by heavy armor, two grappling hooks on each foot help it cling to trees. Even the antennae are thick and tough. This mobile attacker has multiple eyes. The flame-bellied orb weaver has super sticky silk and potent venom. The longicorn beetle has size and strength with heavy body armor and shredding mandibles. Who will survive? delivers a toxic bite. It's no exaggeration to say that this is... When a hooded mantis and a Brazilian wandering spider go for the jugular, it's all cloak and deck. Two huge compound eyes give the mantis stereoscopic vision and excellent view to a kill. Each one is a sensor, picking up tiny vibrations, even changes in airflow, which she uses to lethal effect. But what happens when the Brazilian wandering spider meets its Cold War counterpart, the hooded mantis? The mantids' spiked limbs and super-sharp mandibles are more than a match for the spider's deadly fangs and super-powerful venom. Deadly neurotoxins flood the mantid's body. In a bug battle, 
Never underestimate your enemy. Superior camouflage may not save you. Supersized weapons are no match for a mighty army. Speed isn't everything. And an escape plan may not catch you out of trouble. In a monster bug war, you defy death for your dinner.